And with the economy shaping up as the number one priority for voters, President Biden is in the swing state of Pennsylvania today. The president talking infrastructure in Pittsburgh before heading to Philadelphia for a campaign, campaign event with John Fetterman. Here's NBC's Alice Barr. President Biden on familiar ground today in Pennsylvania, throwing his support behind Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman in the battleground's all-important Senate race. Hello, Pittsburgh. The president talking infrastructure in Pittsburgh from the site of a bridge that collapsed back in January. He's pointing to investments from the bipartisan infrastructure law. This law is about more than rebuilding our infrastructure. It's about rebuilding the middle class, something John knows a lot about and talks a lot about. It's part of a midterm push to highlight the positive amid growing concern over the economy, the leading issue for voters. With that shadow looming, a number of candidates in tight races have chosen not to campaign with President Biden, though he pushed back on that idea today. That's not true. There have been 15. Count, Kate, count. Okay, and are there going to be even more? Yeah. Fetterman and Dr. Mehmet Oz will square off in their only debate next week. That after Fetterman released a doctor's note saying he's recovering well from his May stroke and that while he's still dealing with effects related to processing words, he has no cognitive deficits and no work restrictions. Dr. Oz is gaining in the polls after questioning Fetterman's fitness to serve and accusing him of being soft on crime. Politically, the damage has not been done because of health. The damage has been done because... Oz has made an effective case around crime. Fetterman today trading in his standard hoodie for a suit and getting a rare ride on Air Force One as President Biden looks to fuel the Democrat in a race that could determine the balance of power in the Senate. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.